Hi, this is Harvey Elwood. We're here today at the railroad corner. The development is taking place in Orangeburg. This is a wonderful afternoon. We got so many people here. Congressman Clyburn has been here. Mayors from the local cities and towns have been here. All the college presidents, some college students, law enforcement, fire department, all of the stakeholders in this community. And of course, the residents and the young people that will take advantage of all the infrastructure and development that's going to take place here. I think it's a wonderful day. Well, I think most people in this community are aware of Railroad Corner, and uh, we know how long it's been in this dilapidated state. Uh, I made an admission of mine right around the time uh, that I got elected to do what I could uh, to help restore it to its prominence, and it, we're here today to take another step in that direction. This is not the first step. Uh, we just got $2.5 million uh, for uh, Trinity Church to start its renovation, $1.5 million for the uh, uh, Bowling Alley. Uh, this project uh, here is going to be $23.1 million by itself. Wow. Uh, so it will bring a total of uh, $29 million in this effort. And I think it ought to answer the question to these people who says, who keep asking, what has Biden done? Oh, I am so excited about this project today. It's been a long time coming, and we've been working on this project about 10, well, some of them have working 30 years, but I've been working on it 10 years, and I'm so excited to see it coming into fruition. And this is just the beginning of much more to come. Much more to come. We're going to, we're going to be tearing down some more buildings, and we anticipate no great businesses to occupy this corner, and we anticipate residents to be here. This is going to be the cultural mecca of, of, of South Carolina. It's a great day for Orangeburg. It's going to take a long time coming. It's going to be wonderful for the revitalization. We'll take it all the way to the river. It's a great day in Orangeburg County. This is a dream come true, and I am so excited about what the impact of this is going to be. I am more than excited to see this great day in Orangeburg. Uh, this is truly uh, a momentous occasion. Uh, it will go down in history. Two, three. Of the idea of having this facility in the heart of Orangeburg. What a great day in the city of Orange. So many people came to tell their stories about Orangeburg and the development because Orangeburg is in the middle of South Carolina. So we had a chance to talk about all the things that have gone on here uh, for a good number of years. The crowd is the crowd is tremendous. There's an awful lot of people here. I saw Monty Barrett, who's a world a heavyweight champion boxer. He was here today. Not only did they have the groundbreaking, but they had a good luncheon in the afternoon with President of Claflin University, Dewan Womack, please tell us about this, if you will. Well, we're excited about what this is going to bring for the community. When we think about recruiting students, like say for Claflin, 70% of our students are from the great state of South Carolina. And to be able to keep them here and not have it to live off campus and have a place to live, to work, and to play will be exciting. So I just want to thank the mayor. City Council and Sydney Everett for a vision to be able to provide this opportunity. We can keep those tax dollars here so the students that graduate have a quality place to stay. That makes a world of a difference. And then if we want to change the economic engine in Orangeburg, let's provide quality housing and let these go from students to employees in this community. It's a win-win for all of us. We heard Congressman Clyburn talk about a movie theater. You now have that. That expands the vision of Orangeburg and this region because you've done this. Well, it's a blessing. When I arrive, I recognize my own privilege that I can drive my daughter to Columbia and to Charleston. There's a ton of folks in this community who cannot. So I, the board trusted my crazy vision to build a place that will have a movie theater, and the community is loving it. We showed Bad Boys the last two weeks, and we sold out four out of the six nights. So the community is using it, and it's 99% utilization has been community. So I'm well, and I'm telling you, I am really just so happy for the city of, of Orangeburg, South Carolina, and for all that it is doing, and especially them commemorating and bringing to fruition the museum that's going to be erected here in uh, the town of, of Orangeburg, this is just history from every side. And we're just so happy to be a part of it. I'm not from Orangeburg, but I, I just feel like we're good neighbors. And I wanted to be here for this event. This is truly history in its making. And it will be for years and years to come for our children, our grandchildren, great-grands. I, I hope I'll be around to tell them about... You, you'll be here. You'll be here. <laughs>
93.7 and SCC TV. Thank you so much. Thank you.